We're on 11-3, working with line plots to solve problems. So we did our guided practice in class. So just like always, we're going to move on to our next part. So question number four, what is the difference in height between the tallest and shortest patient? Well, difference, that's our subtraction. So we're looking for our tallest patient, which is six feet, and our shortest patient, which is four and a fourth. So we have six minus four and one fourth. So what do we need to do? Well, I have no fraction up here, so I'm going to have to regroup it. So I need to take away one whole from this six, so I have five, and I'm trading it for fourths. So I'm trading it for four fourths. Remember, four fourths is the same as one whole, which is what we just borrowed from that six. So now I have four fourths minus one fourth is three fourths. Five minus four is one, so my difference is one and three fourths of a foot. My next one says, Oscar says five feet is the most common height Dr. Shen measured. Do you agree? So he's saying this isn't my most common, but if I look over here, five and two fourths actually has one more dot. So there are more dots, but instead of saying dots, I'm gonna say data. There are more data. And remember, data is actually plural, even though it sounds seems like it should be there is more data, it's there are more data at five and two fourths than five feet. So our answer is no, we do not agree. Heading to our next page. We have Marsha measured her dolls and showed the heights using a line plot. What was the most common height? Again, most common, I'm looking for the one with the most dots. And what I see at six and three fourths is that has four dots, where all the others have less than four dots. So my most common height is six and three fourths, and I need that label of inches. What fraction of the Marsh's dolls are six and a half? Well, remember, our fractions are made up of parts over holes. So I need to figure out my holes or how many total dots we have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 total dolls, and we're looking for ones that are 6 and a half inches. Well, 6 and a half is the same as 2 fourths, because I can divide by 2 halves. So that is the same as 1 and a half. So I'm looking at this right here. So I have 2 over 12, which again, I can simplify, divide by 2, and I would get 1 sixth. So either one is acceptable for our fraction, but two twelfths of her dolls are six and a half. For number eight, we have Marley is knitting a scarf. She records the lengths she knits each day. Each day she knits more than the day before. How many more inches does Marley need so that the scarf is 30 inches long? Well, what I have here is I need to find the total length that she's knitted so far. So I have two from this first dot plus two and two eighths plus two and two eighths, plus, so I'm actually adding all of these guys up together. Now what's gonna be easier for me is if right above those dots, at least for my own thinking, I'm going to put what they equal. So here she has knitted two inches. Here she's knitted two times two and two eighths, which that is four, and then four eighths, so here she's knitted four and four eighths. Over here, we have three times two and four eighths. So we have six and 12 eighths, which I can reduce that to pull out one hole and I would have four eighths left. So I have seven and four eighths. Here she's knitted two and five eighths. Here she's knitted, and now I need to write over on this side, two times two and six eighths because there's two dots. So that is four and 12 eighths, which we know is the same as five and four eighths. And then we have two and seven eighths and three. So now what do we need to do? Well, now we have to add all of these up. So I'm going to erase all my work because I'll need some more space. So now let's add them. We have two plus four and four eighths 
plus 7 and 4 eighths plus 2 and 5 eighths plus 5 and 4 eighths plus 2 and 7 eighths plus 3. So let's check. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different numbers. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different numbers. So now we're on the right track. So let's add our fraction parts together first. So I have one whole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross these out. And just remember, I have one whole up here. And now I can't make any more groupings of holes. So let's add our whole numbers together and then our fractions. So here we have 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 1 is 7 plus another 7 is 14 plus another 2 is 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. 21 plus 2 is 23. 23 plus 3 is 26. So now we can add our fractions up to add my fraction pieces together. So what do I have here? Well, I have 5 eighths plus 4 is 9 eighths plus 7 is 16 eighths. So I have 26 plus 16 eighths. And I know 16 eighths, that's the same as two holes. So I have 26 plus 2, which is 28 inches. So that's how much she's knitted so far. And it says, how many more? So that means it's a subtraction. So I have 30 minus 28, which is 2. So after all that work, we know that she needs two more inches. Heading to our last one now. Using the following statements and our line plot, which of the following is, are true? Most of the players are six feet or taller. Well, first we have to figure out what is our dot equal to. So our dot is a player. And our scale, remember, what are we talking about? How far is it to get from one to the other? Well, here would be one, two, three. So I, my scale is 1 twelfth because I'm counting by twelfths to get from 6 twelfths to 9 twelfths. So now let's check. How many total players are there? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 players. And let's check this first statement. Most of the players are 6 feet or taller. So I'm looking at this group. And yeah, that does seem like most of our players fit that. Our outlier now is at 3 and a half. So let's check where our outlier is. I'm sorry, not three and a half. Our outlier is at five and a half. We don't have any dots at five and a half, so we're going to leave that one alone. Our next one says the combined height of the two tallest players is 12 and 8 twelfths. So here is one tallest player and two tallest players. So I have six and three twelfths, plus we have three twelfths to four twelfths to five twelfths, plus six and five twelfths. So my answer is 12 and eight twelfths, which, yes, it does match what they have. The difference between the tallest and shortest player is 7 twelfths. Well, my tallest player we just found out was 6 and 5 twelfths. And we're subtracting from our shortest player, which is right here, one spot over. So 5 and 9 ten twelfths plus 1 twelfth, which is 10 twelfths. So minus 5 and 10 twelfths. So now we subtract. I need to regroup. Remember, I'm getting 12 pieces. I already have 5, so that is 17. So my answer is 7 twelfths, which that does match as well. Now, my answer for all the above is not true because we didn't mark that one. So those are my three answers. Now, which of the following fractions describe the portion of the basketball players that are 6 feet tall? Use equivalent fractions. Well, 6 feet tall, I have 4 parts or 4 pieces out of how many players? Out of 12. So I see that's one here, but now I don't see any other equivalent fractions. So I could divide this by 2 halves which would give me 2 6, which I see is here. I can then divide again by 2 halves, which will give me 1 third, which I see is right here. That's it.